Okay, so where is Magoo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking screaming. I know that's pretty random, but I mean, we just hear about Timbaland so much, and I be thinking, where the hell is Magoo? Because Magoo was like that nigga too. Where Girl, Magoo know? definitely used to be that nigga, and I don't know where that nigga is. I wonder if he got an Instagram. Anytime niggas disappear, that's the first thing I say. They got an Instagram? Let's see. Magoo. How do you spell Magoo? Wasn't it M A G O O? Well, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of Magoos. Let me. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me do my Googles. Was he a rapper? <laughs> yeah, definitely American rapper, according to Google. Okay. Well, oh, Google said it. Uh huh. They really had a picture. Girl, several pictures of him, and they all look. Uh, none of them look recent. I'm just uh, like, his, I found his Instagram. Tonga dude. Yeah. <laughs> he only got 2,300 followers. Oh, he is this the same? That nigga low key look all right. Is that Magoo? I don't know. Because this nigga, I don't know. This nigga looks a little young. And he's there with oh, a like Mr. Magoo who? No, that's a cat. I don't think that's Magoo. <laughs> I don't know who this nigga is. <laughs> yeah, well, whoever. Who wait, hold on. I see Magoo 79. Oh shit. Nope. That's that Bell, right? That nigga look like more our age. That ain't him either. That Magoo must not have an Instagram. He probably don't. He probably said for what? Somebody said Magoo is the hottest rapper alive. What? Woo. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing about opinions. You can have whatever that whatever anybody can have one. Big facts. But one of my favorite songs, um, that take away after Leah died. I don't yeah, don't even ask me what my favorite Magoo song is. I ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask you the that's that's just, I'm, well, that's the last time I kind of remember like Magoo being around. Yeah, I don't think that's a Magoo I know though. <laughs> Girl, so so off topic. Would you go to an Aaliyah hologram concert? I would not. Why? Sam <sighs> You don't want to hear? Your love is a one. I don't think it's a Leah fan. <sighs> like, I mean, Leah's cool, but I'm not. I'm. I'm actually. I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay. I mean, how can you not be an Leah fan? Uh, I because I'll be honest. I fucking hate Rock the Boat. <laughs> oh my gosh! After oh, she died, they played that song. Boat. Yeah, they played that song. Into the ground after she died, and okay, I hate that. I, I will agree with. I hate rock the boat. I mean, I listen to it's a bop, like I'll jam, but like if I'm in my car, like skip. I don't know. I don't know why. And, and Aaliyah cool as fuck, and I mean, I, I just, you know what it maybe it is. I hear Robert. <laughs> I hear Robert coming through them songs. Okay, I think that that's fair, but also Aaliyah was incredibly talented, bro. She was, and she was. And I feel like if it wasn't for Aaliyah, we wouldn't have a lot of people right now. We wouldn't, but I just hear his wife when I listen to. I I, I be hearing like <laughs> mm. that's his. That, is, that was his wife then. That's what I. That's all I hear, and I can't do too much stuff right too. The age. But why are you putting that on Aaliyah? She was young, impressionable. She. Uh, how, I'm going to a con. I'm going to a concert of a hologram. That's what you said? Yeah. I can stay home. Yeah. I, I can, <laughs> the Leah oh, hologram ain't in your living room, no. I mean, but it's my, so I'm going out somewhere to watch something. Basically. A I'm hologram going or something. I'm good. Isn't a movie just a hologram? <laughs> I watch those at home too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what if they made it to where you could like purchase the Aaliyah hologram through Amazon and watch it at home? I mean, it may be like a cool little party, but like, am I gonna watch this for myself? Probably not. Like, Bruh, I can't lie. I would, I would buy a damn near front row ticket for an Aaliyah hologram. Fam, are you serious? Dead ass. 
Oh, wow. I did not know your level of dedication was this, to this level. Girl, I love me some Aaliyah. And I just want to, even though I feel like her brother going to be back there doing some of her vocals and shit. Her brother? I, isn't her brother the one that finished her uh, her on uh, Romeo Must Die? Should I, I don't know. I ain't never heard that. Yeah, they said that her brother was the one who finished um, her lines on Romeo Must Die. Unless that was made up too, hell. I mean, shit, it might have. I am. I don't know, child. I ain't heard that. <laughs> I, I don't know, no, child. I don't know, baby. I ain't heard that, but I mean, shit, it makes sense. You know, as, I know this is really random. Every time I talk about voice switch, and I think of Ray Charles when he did all them three of them voices because he kicked them bitches out the uh, recording session. <laughs> and so he did the. the <laughs> Oh I know it's really random, but how, I be thinking, how the fuck a blind nigga like? So yes, hey, you, saw my blonde, you saw my little blind nigga uh, excursion, girl. Every time you be posting, talking about he on live, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give him credit. Like, does he tell Siri like, hey Siri, go live? I don't fucking know how he does it, and I don't be knowing like how how he be knowing when someone comment. Or how he be Ooh. knowing who joined? Ooh. I mean, I'm I'm sure it tells him. I don't know, but I just be thinking like, how does does he does he know no one's watching? <laughs> Maybe he got somebody nearby, or like, does he even have one viewer so it could seem like somebody else was viewing it, and maybe they could tell him the comments? I mean, it was two, but no one like it, no one ever says anything. I was one of them. <laughs> Did you comment? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah. that nigga was in there taking a shit in the bathroom, fam. Like, fam, you didn't see that? No, nah, man. I'm Girl, just saying. Yeah, I saved it. He had he was on one and he was taking a shit. And he was like, sometimes you just, you gotta do your business. And then he set the phone, like you he was in the bathroom to pee, and then the pee turned into a shit. <laughs> oh my and god. He heard, he heard like plops, and then like he set the phone and he's like, I'm sorry, I gotta take care of business. And he like, you taking care of business, girl. And then he has the phone down. He wraps the tissue around his hand. You see the tissue, like you see it, you see it over your phone, like you see. No, the no, tissue? no. I, I don't want to hear anymore. I actually don't. I, I don't want to hear, hear anymore. That's really it, though. But you, you like you like he gets the tissue and like wipes and then flushes. And I'm like, this is nigga just really once, huh? He only wiped once. Girl, I don't know how many fucking times he wiped. But you, he only, he only got to tell me he wiped once. He only got to show me on live that he did the shit once. That's all I got to see. I see that shit once, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm good, baby, because you do too fucking much. That is low key filthy, but I don't know if I can really blame him. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I really, honestly, I just don't know how to feel. <laughs> you don't know if he got fought or not. I mean, yeah, I, I it's. It's giving me, I'm bothered. He at least could tell that I was fat from my voice, though. Girl, couldn't Ray do it? <laughs> Ray felt the wrist. This nigga heard my <laughs> voice. I was extra, extra chunky. He's like, oh, you sound thick with it. I'm like, add a couple more thicks. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's thick. <laughs> thick. And he's like, it's okay, I'm blind. But I'm like, this is like, it's okay, I'm blind. I'm like, nigga, hold on. <laughs> Wait, okay, how'd you even get in contact with this nigga in the first place? I don't know. You gotta be adding just anybody on my goddamn Facebook sometimes. <laughs> and I guess those niggas that got added on them times, I was real generous and adding people. And he said, hey, beautiful, my name is Ama Amazing the Blonde. Some shit, Amazing the Blonde, Blonde rapper, Amazing the Blonde, or something like that. I'm like, this nigga really blind? He's like, yeah, my eyes are, I'm blind. My eyes are really gray and blue. I'm like, oh. Okay. Okay. Girl, he, he over there using the fuck out of them accessibility features on that phone. <laughs> Girl, because when he would write, when he sent me, he would send me a message, and it, you could tell it say like something like record or press record or you know start start talking or something like that. And so I heard the end of that, and then I hear him talking, and I'm like, man, I'm not gonna be sitting here sending no talk messages to this man. That ain't <laughs> elfin' to see. Wow, wow. But you're not ever finna see. I didn't mean it like that. Shit. Damn, 
damn, you know, sometimes niggas go too far. I'm, oh, never, I'm never going to like be in the presence of oh, shit. I ain't mean like that. My bad. I'm never gonna be around him. Yeah, definitely. I'm never gonna be around. <laughs> I'm over here never, like, wow. I failed. Shit, that was super tongue. I ain't mean that. I'm never gonna <laughs> be around this man. I feel you, dog. Ever. You know what, Loki? I'm going to give him an A for effort because at least he's trying. And it's niggas out here with, with, with yeah. 2010 vision. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I learned that 2010 vision is better than 2020. Oh, for real? Yeah, there's 2010, there's 2015, there's 2020. I know that. Yes, so I learned that. Yeah, okay, 2010 vision, okay. Well, apparently that's a real thing. But... Me and I, uh, niggas. Yeah, it be niggas who don't even wear glasses that don't want to even check on you. Yeah, it's it's them. It's 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 niggas. Who this this week is just girl. These topics we finna get into that in a little these bit. These niggas are so disappointing. Let me um, girl. These niggas are disappointing. But um, do you have your song? Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. Let me let me pull this how up. All right. Okay. Uh, oh my my Google is still open to Mr. Magoo. <laughs> I missed the Magoo. We're still open. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I think you'll get this part. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> the jewel of Africa, jewel. Oh, what? Uh, pyramids, Frank Ocean. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> that's my shit. All right. Damn, um, that was quick. Girl, my shit. I love that shit. Woo, that's a long ass song. That's a nine minute song, fam. And every minute goes fucking hard. Girl, and I'm like, oh, look, look at the dedications they can have behind a sex worker. Hmm. A sex hmm. worker. You respect hmm. her position. Look at, look, look at the reference for this sex worker. I, I Girl, that's why you gotta start holding these hold niggas accountable because niggas don't, don't really take care of free shit. I don't really know what he was saying in the song, but I fucks with it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Frank said. Whatever he said, it sound like it, it'd be good. Okay. Um, what would I be without you? Is that a uh, Ja Rule? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that Ja Rule and Ashanti? It's what would a- I be without you? Yeah. Isn't Ashanti in here? I guess so. It's a girl, ain't it? No, it's Lil Mo. That's what it is. Oh, Lil Mo. I know you're tired of being lonely. Need you the whole man. I need you the whole I mean, man. I mean, I mean. Where, where would I be? That's the shit. you, baby. I tried googling Magoo. I, I tried googling Magoo again, and this shit just gave me an old video. So this nigga off the grid. Girl, you know what? Whenever I hear about people who have no social media, I just be like, oh, you know, I respect that. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Like, leave them be. Yeah, because you know what? They probably got less stress than the rest of us niggas do. Girl, or, or, or no, not to put it on Facebook or Instagram shit. And that part. Okay, well, a best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here You, Here you Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> this is Tan. This is B. You ready to go and get started, bro? Let's go. Hey, let's get it. Hey. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started in this week with the shits. Let's go. So, you know, th- this week, there's definitely a theme that involves cheating. I really hate it. I really hate it here. R- real heavy on the side. So before we get into all the cheating shit, let's go ahead and start off with some light. Well, I don't know if it's really lighter, but we're going to start off. Okay. Uh, let's do 100 rounds. Okay. Double XL freshman list. Uh, New kids. Kendrick. Coy, Coy, what's that? Coy, Le, Coy, Coy Leroy? I, I really don't know how to say it. I think it's Coy Leroy or Coy Leroy. I just want to call her Leroy, so. <laughs> Leroy. Uh, Drake. Okay. All right. So this week, um, Double XL decided to go ahead and release their the lineup for their 14th mm-hmm. annual freshman issue. Mm-hmm. 
So the list consisted of Pooh Shiesty, Burr, <laughs> the kid Leroy, mm-hmm. um, Moray, mm-hmm. Ian Dior, uh, SSG Kobe, Chef G, JJ, or no, JI, the Prince of NY, mm-hmm. Tusi, mm-hmm. uh, SG, Koi, Leroy, 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 I don't know, <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, 42 Doug, and Snot. So I know about four people on that list. ESTG, Coy Leroy, which I don't know if she's on that list. Really, she only has like one song. I mean, questions that need answers. I mean, she has a couple songs, but like the one song that she has popping just started popping like yesterday. Right. And um, it's courtesy of TikTok. I guess co- <sighs> the song is good. Don't get me wrong. Tusi too. Yeah, Tusi. That's that uh, song with him and Summer Walker, right? Yeah, love cycle, wash cycle, this rinse cycle. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Some cycle. Some with a cycle. Um, yeah, same. I think G I J I, the Prince of N Y. Oh my I think he, he had a song. Let me see. It sounds like a it was lot on of the radio. TikTok people, maybe, but Girl. like Pooh Shiesty isn't TikTok. I don't know. I I couldn't get the reason. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> you all right? I, I could, yeah. I couldn't get the reasoning why. And like, oh, never mind. You ain't got to it yet. But it it was a release that came out. So it wasn't like the, the actual one. It was like a leak of it, right? Yeah, no. This was just them. Um, so usually what they'll do is they'll list the, they'll provide the list to everybody first. Uh-huh. And then shortly after that, we'll actually get the cover. I thought, I thought we, I thought people like voted on it though. They like they, they asked who they felt like should be on there. The, uh, they they use they usually ask for suggestions, and mm-hmm. then um, I guess their little team they're the uh-huh. ones that actually decide who belongs on the cover. It was just kind of like it's always like the same though. Like nigga, 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 bitch, nigga, 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 nigga. Right, because like literally as soon as I saw the list, I was like, I call them bitches, but. <laughs> right. Um, as soon as I saw the list, I was like, wait, there definitely needs to be more female rappers on this list. Yeah. W- the women are actually like dominating the charts right now. No, literally. I'm like, okay, we got Asian doll. Um, who who else do we have? Enchanting. Um Enchanting. We got Rini Rucci. Um yeah, Rini. Like, Mulatto, you have- has Mulatto ever had X a double X? I think she was on last year, wasn't she? I, I feel like she was, but hopefully I'm not making that up. If y'all haven't had Mulatto on there, shame on y'all. Facts. Um, you've got, oh, I just had a name. And then when you said Mulatto, it skipped my Can damn mind. Uh, Light-skin Juicy Fruit. Huh? Light-skin ke- Yeah, Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit Juicy. had one of the biggest songs. Juicy Fruit had a great a year TV last year. Show. She had a great year last year. Damn, I wasn't even thinking about Juicy. Hell yeah, they wrong for that. They, she had a great year last year. And Juicy would have ate that cover up. Big facts. I didn't even, like, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even, I didn't even watch the, the freestyles because I was like, I don't know these niggas. Have they released them already? Oh, I just saw what Asian Doll had tweeted. Like, oh, they, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was reading to it. I don't, maybe they didn't, but. I don't I think they've done that yet. I think they just only released the names oh. for the cover. Shit like, that, shit like this be making me feel like, oh, in a way, like not like not like I'm like, damn, it was a time I know everybody on the list. I don't know none of these niggas. Girl, hell, we done went from uh the freshman, we graduated now. <laughs> okay, the alumni, alumni Girl, everyone. Ask, because our year was like Kendrick, Drake, Drake Big Nicki Sean, I. like all them niggas was on one cover together. So and you know, I feel like I do a decent job of keeping up with all this shit. But mm-hmm. even for me, there's but there's also so many artists. I just be like, I don't know who that is. I'll give it a try. If you don't catch my eye, I mean my ear within the next five to ten seconds, I'm really just gonna change it. <laughs> a lot of these like songs that I be hearing and I be liking, I go to listen to other stuff. Mm-hmm. I be like, oh, it can stay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Not for real. But you know, like, nah. even, even Cookie Kawhi, she had a big-ass year, too. Yeah, girl, I feel like they really, 
missed out on a lot of women. And this list low key, there could have been a, I mean, I don't know them niggas, but I feel like a few of them could have been left off. But then I also feel like they do these lists so it can be controversial and so everybody can like talk about it. Yeah, but if, like we might not talk about it. If it was good, we talk about it too. Cause we're like, oh yeah, the niggas are. I know that. Like, if it was good, we talk about it too. True. There, there's still be people. Somebody would want on there, but I'm just like, it. It's always like it's all. It's one or two women, and it's all these niggas. And mm -hmm. most of these niggas you don't even hear from the next year. Yeah, cause you know they do say that there is a double XL freshman uh, curse. I mean. I don't know what the curse is. It, it some niggas are still here, some is not. Facts, like yeah, everybody don't make the list. Everybody that makes a list doesn't make a career. And wasn't Jibs on there one time? I think he was, and so was uh, I think uh, this this is why I'm hot. Mims. Yeah. Everybody in this bitch getting tipsy. Yeah. <laughs> Jaquan and nigga, I'm sure that nigga had a cover too. Like her okay. cat. Hurricane Chris over here murdering people, I heard. Girl, okay, nigga currently locked the fuck up. Nigga over here doing regular people shit, like why? Girl, no facts. I guess, but whatever. So, you did kind of bring up that uh, Asian Doll had a few things to say about this cover. Uh-huh. So, Asian Doll, she got on Twitter and she said, it's been fuck double XL. Nobody cares for that shit. It's so staged now. It's been staged. And the list and end the list, but full of favorite. Hold on, Asian doll. Just <laughs> you okay. Proofread. Yeah, I'm gonna have to proofread this. Okay, it's been fuck double XL. Period. Nobody cares for that shit. Period. She didn't add not a single period in here. <laughs> 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 not a one. She said she, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It's not good. It's it's not about DISD. Girl, big facts. Okay, um, it's so staged now. And it's been staged. The list is full of favoritism. No real talent. That's why them freestyles be trash. Because they pick the artist based off popularity. That cover not raw at all. Double XL lists should be full of females anyways. They, loving, they love throwing 16 niggas on there and one female. Like we ain't out here taking over the game. Thanks. Where, where's the lie? She said a lot of stuff sometimes. Sometimes I just be like, <laughs> like she made a comment today. Did you see where it was somebody's like, um, somebody oh, was their boyfriend raped, ra I think it was Raz B, raped them and impregnated them. Yeah. And she's like, she could have taken a plan B. I'm like, why the fuck would you say that? Bruh. Sounds about I just want to be on Asian Doll's side so bad. I want her to win so bad. And then she do say shit like that. That would be like, I'm like, just just skip over the rape, huh? You are so Dallas. Like, you are so fucking <laughs> Dallas. Like, you Girl. are a Dallas nigga through and through. And Girl. you ain't learned yet. You were just such, you were such a Dallas nigga. But you gonna learn. bro. and people be acting like they not using their main page. Like, why would... Okay, if you just feel the absolute need to comment some shit like that. Uh-huh. Which, if you don't get a fence to... You can be I mean, all in the shade room comments and nobody will see any of that shit. I can I can understand people like wanting to like be able to say what they want to say, but you you just also got to know that you're in a position that people can say what they want to say back to you, and if that shit sound dumb, a lot of people are gonna say something back to you. So, girl, I don't know. I just be like, you know, sometimes I be wanting to like tweet stuff and write stuff, and I be like, let me let me keep my ass off 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 of online, girl. I'm because you know what I'm I love leaving comments, and I'd have had. I done left some wild ass comments and I go look in my notifications and somebody done liked it. And I'm like, you weren't supposed to see that. Girl, I don't be leaving comments. It just be like posts I be wanting to make. And like a main reason I don't really just go off like I want to my Facebook is because my pastor and like my church family and my parents is on there and shit. So I'm be really posting about what I want to post. But I really just be wanting to really be wanting to say some shit and call and bitches and motherfuckers and niggas and all that other shit, but I'll be real calm and quiet over there. So I'll just be like, i just be wanting to say a lot of shit, but you know, i just be thinking like, if I say this in 15 minutes, will I feel foolish? Probably. So if I do that, I just delete it or whatever. Or if I think it before and I think I don't through, I just delete it. So. But, Why don't you just go off in your close friends? 
I, I be added, I don't even know how to do close friends. Like I have it, but I just added, I added them to everybody because I just like I don't know. I don't really I don't really give a fuck. I don't know. I just I don't know. When two <laughs> you ain't got no reason. Yeah, I don't have no reason. Cause like I don't I only be on one page really now for the most part. I post really much pretty much whatever on there. I don't know. I be wanting to, but I just be I feel like that's too much energy to have to switch back and forth. But I'm, it's, I'm lazy. Just Girl, I feel like that's exactly what close friends is for. Like, you don't want for, really low-key, Facebook needs to go ahead and come up with a close friends option. I mean, unless they have it. I don't really be on Facebook like that no more. Um, I guess but that's, your, friends. that's your That's your time. Like, Yeah, but I be, I be having, like, I got so many fucking friends on Facebook. Like, I'm... I don't want to accidentally miss my parents' friend and I get a call at 4 a.m. talking about you on Facebook cussing again. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to block you. And your Damn, I barely be on Facebook. I only be, I primarily spend all my time on Instagram. I mean, I do too, but you know, Facebook, I just, I be visiting Facebook a lot sometimes. So I, I still like it because you'd be some mess on there. So we got to. You gotta keep your eye on on the on, on the book. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do. You ain't lying there. But nah, like like you said, like some stuff Asian doll posts, I just be like, okay, well that was dumb. And then other shit, I'd be like, okay, you know what? Like yeah. she she said a lot of other shit. And once I got out of yeah, that, uh-huh. what she said, what I really wanted to take <laughs> from it, uh-huh. it made sense. But Asian doll's not lying. Like, why <laughs> would you do this? Like. There's so many female rappers. So yeah. many. I think the thing is she just like say what she want to say. Whether it's, it's whether it's good or bad, she's just gonna say what she wanna say. But I mean that it we have questions, double XL. Like, what's the criteria? I is mean, it, honestly, listen, payola listen, spins, what is it? Like, mm-hmm. I don't what's the criteria that, that you're judging off of? Because Several of these niggas, and I and I feel like I have a pretty good ear too. I'm pretty open in what I listen to, but several of these niggas, I'm like, who? Girl, okay, Girl. you say so. And that for that exact reason, you cannot tell me that there is nobody paying specifically to get their artists on that list, that's, so that's, people can go and crazy. look them up. That's crazy. Like that's that's, that's, that's a that's a that's some really. You know what? But I feel her though, because sometimes that's how we feel like these awards and stuff be going. Like, yeah. let me let me stop talking shit. If I be over here like Asian doll, but I be feeling like <laughs> it's, it's just, I feel like it's the same shit with different like categories and stuff. Like, I mean, if essentially it should be always the talent. You know what I'm saying? It should be the talent. Who's putting in the work? Who who yeah. you see grinding? It should be a combination of that, but sometimes it is popularity. Popularity, yeah, popularity. That, like I'm not gonna me. lie, because you know I really didn't watch the Grammys. I just caught the Instagram version of it, and like as soon as I saw that Beyonce was at the Grammys, I was like, oh, Beyonce's winning more than one Grammy. Mm-hmm. Beyonce and Jay Z don't go to no damn Grammys. Yeah, no, they going to collect. Yes, they go in to collect. So then whenever mm-hmm. I, after I saw Beyonce and then later on I saw they said that um she had surpassed and she's like uh she's got the most Grammys ever won by an artist. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I see what's going on here. Mm-hmm. So now I do agree, like sometimes it really is just like who you are. And you know what? Low key, I don't even know if I can blame sometimes based on popularity. Cause it's a look for you and them. Yeah. You know, so I get it. I just wish the list had a few more women on it because, or make the list longer. Hell y'all ain't y'all doing nothing but a damn digital cover anyways. Facts. You can have multiple of them bitches. <laughs> yeah. Like do it, do a freshman female cover, do a freshman male cover. Hell something that like, shit ain't going to do nothing but be posted on Instagram in a post. That's it. Cause who the hell going out to buy double XL? Where do you buy double XL? Like, where the fuck do you buy magazines anymore? <laughs> Girl, I guess that's the same place you buy um, Up and uh, Source magazine. Online? I wouldn't even be able to tell you. See, and I don't even be thinking, like, I don't even think, you're probably going to go to Barnes and Nobles or something like that. I don't even think, like, 
You know, you remember uh, like Walmart and Target used to have like the magazine section and you could go mm -hmm. get a little when your mom was taking too long or whatever. Yep. I don't think they had that shit no more. They have books now, but I don't think they have magazines. Girl, don't. And you remember even like 7-Eleven, they used to have a little yeah. magazine rack as soon as you walked in. Yeah. And they had the dirty magazines in the back. <laughs> Girl, yeah. You go to the hood store and they got the freaking ones locked up. Girl, and then they, they have them in back. They be in plastic. <laughs> Girl, I'm like, oh, these men are super nasty. Bruh, imagine walking out the store with a damn dirty magazine. <laughs> Talk about you want a bag? <laughs> no, <Nah>, I'm good. <laughs> it's already in one. <laughs> girl but you know niggas like that they usually visit places like that at nighttime. girl facts going to 7-Eleven at 1am yeah yeah when we think everybody else sleep looking shameful mm -hmm. girl just, be just, I'm like you just and I be you know when I used to scan something you just gonna go to your car and whack off nasty girl, ass girl facts that magazine ain't finna make it home <laughs> It's gonna be sticky before you even reach your drive. Big facts, and then he gonna rip out one out the one of the ads out the bag to wipe off. Damn, why the fuck are people buying magazines? There's <laughs> pornos. I don't get it. Girl, it's some old school <laughs> But you know, there's people out there that really don't watch porn. I guess shit. It is. I I don't. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. I'm just a picture, and then you finna use your. I mean, I guess, I guess I can see you use your magic, but I just, I mean, that's if you really trying to get your get your rocks off, you can see it in real in real life. I'm sure. I mean, they got that shit in HD now. I mean, okay, you can pick how long you want the video to be. You shit, can zoom you can, in. They had that virtual shit where like it'll like come do shit to you. Girl, thanks. Like, like a little thing too, and 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 it has a anime character on the other side, like. Shit is really, there's no reason why you shouldn't be coming at all. <laughs> Girl. They got roses and roses and, and warses and such. What? I'm still trying to get my hand on one of them damn roses. Them hoes is hard to find. For real? Hell yeah. I there ain't none on Amazon like, Prime. You said there what? There's none on Amazon Prime. Girl, I feel like. So you got to wait for it to come from China. Stop giving me shit to really, want, to really leave these niggas alone. Girl, because I have my Satisfy Her Pro. Oh, nigga. <laughs> oh, like, I am good for a little bitch. Fuck these niggas. Like, girl, they just making it harder for you to come by yourself. Well, fuck it. As long as I got electricity, I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm charge. Okay, long as long as my lights work and I can hit a charge, I'm a comb. So that's fine. Girl, I'm screaming. I'm fucking screaming. I get so, it. ooh, we real off topic from the double XL cover. Very. But you know, uh, best of luck to everybody that's on the cover. Um, yeah, wish yeah. you niggas the best, and I'm sure you'll have great careers. And bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. All right, so let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. All right. We gonna do a uh, hundred rounds. Okay. Gosh, this goofy ass nigga, the game. Wait, what did he do? Don't he still owe like some money? Girl. Hmm. What did he do? You not gonna do a hundred rounds? Oh shit, my bad. Um, <laughs> money. Uh, kids. VH1. Teacher. Go oh, his baby mama. Yeah, his baby mama. Day. Yeah, whatever she is. All right, so Game decided to use this good old internet uh -huh. to hop on his phone and use his thumbs to say, Oh, Lord. There are so many beautiful women in the world, especially these days. Even when you get a bad bitch, as soon as you got her, you see another one you think is better. Then you got to have that one and repeat this process until you've lost all of them one by one. Find your wife and delete IG. So we're gonna take a moment of silence for this stupidity. Okay, moment done. Um, <laughs> what? Why do niggas act like IG is the problem? It's I don't hear nothing problem. about self control. It's I don't yeah. hear nothing about honesty, loyalty, accountability. None of that. It's everything but that. <sighs> These niggas are demons. <laughs> <laughs> 
that nah, is they the, fucking menaces. That's the only these niggas are demons sent to destroy and pillage. Like and see this this the be the part that be killing me because you had that. Yup. And you out here acting a, a plum fool and had uh, acted a fucking ass and she left your ass and then you did a dating show and cut herself a nice little charge, nasty mm-hmm. nigga. Okay. You still owe for it. That girl still ain't got her coins yet. You better put out another yeah. album for three. To this day. To this, to this, this day. day. Give her her money. And, and like the crazy thing is, nigga, on your show, you had what? 12 bad bitches? <laughs> There's never enough for y'all. There's there's always there's always gonna be like and this the I be do niggas not be thinking like niggas don't be fine to us. You know there's a nigga finer than you. Hello? You know there's a nigga Hello? who better than you? You know there's a nigga who probably fuck better than you. You know there's niggas out here better than you. With more money than you, everything. And they act like we just supposed to be like, no, tunnel vision. I love my man. Nigga, shut up. Niggas, niggas be out here fine as fuck. Hmm. Niggas be out here like be making you be like, you know what? I got a nigga at home, but fuck this nigga right now. This nigga right here in front of me is fine as a bitch. Like that happens too. Facts. Big facts. I'm just, ugh, niggas is just so... And see, I, I feel like niggas are just literally trying to condition us, and it's been going on for a very long time. They're just trying to condition us to being okay with um, being cheated on. They're trying to condition us to being okay with being left. They're trying to condition us to being okay with him having multiple women. Like, mm-hmm. and sorry, I don't subscribe. Man, man, <laughs> the fact. <laughs> I'm over here coughing. Like the last couple of situations I've been in, niggas talk about polygamy and shit. I'm just like, wow. Like, damn. Like, I just like, I mean, no kink shaming. If that's what you want to do, that's that's fine. But niggas be doing shit for the wrong reasons. Girl, and big be already doing shit and like still be fucking shit up. And I'm like, yeah, no. And I'm just like, damn. Do anybody just want to be with just one person? Girl. Like I I, I I can be I have some doggish ways about me now. Now I'm trying to not, I'm, I, wolf wolf. You said it, but I look now. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to write. Girl. And it's it's a it. I don't, niggas are gonna be thinking. Niggas, I feel like niggas just be thinking like it's an automatic for us to to not want to, but it's a it's an urge for us to fight that shit too. Yeah. And, I just feel like they be. I feel like they throw the fight. <laughs> Girl, I'm oh, telling no, you. Don't send me no DM. No, don't send me your titty. Oh no. no. <laughs> you just threw, oh he, she punched me. Oh she's kidding me. I'm not gonna fight. Like niggas be throwing a fight and don't even be trying to like resist shit and like be mm-hmm. wondering how they be in shit. And I'm just like, what did I'm you just, expect? I'm just tired of it. And, and it's people who who make this shit okay and they make it even worse. Girl, that's what I'm saying. Because there's so many niggas, especially whenever you had niggas like Charlemagne who are getting on the damn radio, being broadcasted all over the world. And he's like, say, and that's what pisses me off. Men try to use statistics for their bullshit. So they'll be like, oh, women outnumber men three to one. Nigga, mm-hmm. and y'all act like there ain't women out here that only date women. Mm-hmm. So that's taking away some of your three. Okay. Then they say things like, oh, you know, uh, you shouldn't expect ex- exclusivity from a man. Women are like fruits, and you can only how how do you expect for me to only eat a peach for the rest of my life, nigga? You better get to learn to love fucking peaches. Okay, learn how to make different shit with peaches. Hello, you better start oh, canning them, bitches. Become better, the bubble gump of uh peaches, nigga. Uh, hello, <laughs> you you better fry them peaches. You better do something, man. I just be like, you niggas don't make y'all don't y'all don't make claiming y'all look fun or look worth it, girl. Cause we be too fucking scared of being fucking embarrassed. Embarrassed, like why 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 do I? This is why I'm, I don't post goofy niggas on my shit. Why do I want to post you? Because as soon as I post you, you gonna do some shit 
to uh, and now it's too late. I done already told everybody I fuck with you. Now I look foolish. Girl. Now I, and that's why I be thinking like I be I be I be like I'm like I look foolish. You did the shit, but it look I look foolish because of you. And I'm Girl. Like, I if I'm gonna do something, let me do it. But don't have me in some shit because you can't <sighs> niggas can go to the gym. Niggas can wait in line. Niggas can raise these pit bull puppies from 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 goddamn embryos. Girl, and 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 and, and, and tune these cars up and mm -hmm. do all this shit that requires dedication, but can't do the one thing that like could enrich and fulfill your life the most. And I just like I'm just tired. I'm girl, I'm the shit is wicked, and it's just like so. Just because you see another bad bitch, you feel like it's okay to just leave me in the dust. This is why we saying niggas are white women because y'all feel entitled to b bitches. Y'all feel entitled mm -hmm. to people who ain't even on your level. This is girl, y'all are the white women of 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 people. Girl, and like <laughs> I was just telling my, I was telling my sister a couple of days ago. I was like, what is so crazy to me is like men will literally come to us and be like, well, you know what? Sometimes y'all just gotta. Uh, Y'all got to compromise and y'all got to deal with this and y'all got to deal with that. Or they get mad at women who are like, I don't want a nigga who doesn't make a certain amount of money or I don't want a nigga who's not financially responsible. Mm -hmm. It could be the bottom of the barrel, the worstest nigga possible. Worstest. The worstest, not worst, worstest. Mm -hmm. And he will still fucking have standards. And ain't, why isn't anybody telling that bottom of the barrel nigga, like you don't deserve a woman that has a job. You don't deserve a woman that has a car. You don't deserve a woman that ha has a house. Nobody tells that nigga anything. Instead, they tell women who have all of those things that you should be okay with accepting less than that. <laughs> Girl, they, they don't send another nigga Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Girl, like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, niggas, y'all, this is really your king? <laughs> Kevin Samuels' word is Bible? Are you niggas okay? <laughs> You all right? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm like, should I ignore the coffin or <laughs> just, just ignore it? Just pretend you don't even hear it. <laughs> all right, pretending. But it's just like, nigga, like y'all are y'all are really not okay. Y'all want us to accept all this bullshit and then but you feel like you deserve a bitch who comes with no bullshit. Nigga, how does that fucking work? Yeah, they want you to come healed. Come, come ready to deal with my bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Come ready to be my mama. Okay. I cl clear your bag so that you can carry mine. <laughs> and actually, I, I, I got extra baggage. And then my bag is overweight. Okay. Come be my, my mule. <laughs> <laughs> my mule. Let me, let me pack my shit on you. I just, I mean... They're going to say we nigga bashing again. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm just, but like, look, 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 look what you've done. Girl, look, look, what, look what we fucking deal with. Look what you've done. Like, look what we fucking deal with. And like, I just mean like, y'all niggas could never handle what it is that you expect for us to handle. So on top of me handling all this bullshit at home and in my, my personal life, mm -hmm. now I got to go out in the world and act like, like life is okay. And nigga, I'm really fucking depressed. Mm -hmm. My hair done fell out. Gang I'm stress rate. eating. Got my guy acne. Like I got acne on my damn face. Like nigga, what do you want from me? My soul? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. That too. <laughs> Girl, and then tell you, oh, your soul ain't enough. Like, okay. God damn. Girl, it'll I would be some. You give a nigga the moon and the stars, and he'll ask you. <laughs> you get. He'll ask you what, okay, where, where the sun at? Like you, like it's just. I guess it's a lot. I, that's what it is. I guess that's that's why you can't like be doing shit for the pleasure of these niggas. Girl. You don't get extended that same grace. Hello. So. Hello. That's why I'm, I'm telling women, I don't give a fuck what your standards are. I don't care if you want an eight-figure nigga and you only got three figures. I don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> These niggas are allowed to go out here and make demands and make requests 
and tell us what they will do. Tell us what they won't do. So you go out here and do the goddamn same. Girl, big facts, because they let it be known. They very, Tinder Tuesday is full of niggas that are loud and proud of what they feel like they're entitled to. Girl, it be niggas in jail on Tinder Tuesday making requests. Like, nigga, do you, do you know where you reside? Girl, but, but. And you talking about you don't want to deal with no messy bitch. Nigga, what? Love at the lockup. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's all I can think about. Love at the lockup. Like, niggas is dumb. Big ducks. Girl, they're dumb. So, all right, since we didn't got into the nigga dumb, let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. All right. We're going to do, um, let's do 100 rounds. Okay. Sweetie. I want to say Quavo. Quavo. Icy. Breakup. Hoop earrings. Okay. All right. So, whew, okay. So let's let's see where we're gonna start with this whole Saweetie topic. Okay, okay so Saweetie went on um Justin the Boy. You mm-hmm. know, that's a really popular meme Instagram page. And he actually has a TV show now called Respectfully Justin, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but she was one of his first guests that he had. So he had Saweetie on there. Um, as well as Diddy's son. I think that's Justin Combs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, um, Saweetie and Justin apparently used to date. I don't really think that that has anything to do with this. Okay. But apparently there was a little flirtation or whatever that was going on during some of the questioning. Um, but Saweetie was asked one question mm-hmm. in regards to threesomes. Mm-hmm. So Saweetie politely decided to answer and say, you know what, like I deal with, with niggas that, you know, are connected. I deal with niggas that got a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. And so for that very reason, I will let my nigga have the honor of picking the nigga for our threesome. Hey, sounds good to me. Everybody was went crazy. (laughs) Sounds good to me. I don't really see the issue. And on top of that, I really low key think that sweetie was just being funny. I don't think I think so too. I don't think she's the type that wanna have a nigga or a bitch there. Facts. Like I think Saweetie was just like that was a really funny way of saying nigga hell no. Nigga mind your fucking business. Girl, hello. Mm-hmm. And so I saw some comments um on Instagram and whatnot where people were saying, Oh, Saweetie wants a train ran on her. Not a train. And we've had this conversation before. Not a train. Not a train. I've never seen a train with only three cars on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not a train. I mean, that's, Never. that's a fast car. It's not a train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just be feeling like you niggas, like your math is not mathing because mm-hmm. I don't understand where there's a difference between um, there being two women and one man in the room, mm-hmm. three women, I mean, three women, or there being three men, or there being one woman and two men. I don't, that's it's, all it's, threesome. It's, it's three extra people. It's a threesome. It's three people that are involved in the room. So I'm just like, okay, that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, y'all already know what we are over here. This team, uh, I wouldn't mind having two boyfriends. We've been said that. Facts, big facts, but niggas be selfish. Girl, niggas be selfish as hell. And you know what? That's Whenever I saw the Sweetie video, I was like, I just really want for you men to admit that it's not threesomes that you love. You love multiple women. Period. You love multiple women and Mm -hmm. you want to be able to cheat and feel like it's okay. You want to be able to go and get involved with another woman Mm -hmm. and you feel like it adds a level of security that you're bringing your woman into this. (sighs) But... And I be saying, like, I be, I don't understand, like, you know, why don't you want to be in an open relationship then? And they be like, oh, you know, you ever, you ever ask that? And be like, oh, no. Because they don't want you to have no other dick. That, that's, that's what it be. <laughs> they don't want you to get dick down. But they want to fuck whoever they want to. And I just don't understand that. Exactly. And that's exactly what it is. Like, and that's why niggas be saying shit like, and, and then that's what I'm saying, fam, nigga logic. They'll be like, oh, well, you're the one being penetrated. Nigga, and if you want to be penetrated, we can do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, a girl, it, it, it's, it's molded a shape just for you, nigga. This thing, this thing pushed out a ten pound baby. It snapped back from whatever. 
Hello? It can take, it can take a pound. It can take a lick and keep on ticking. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. No, like, low key. Like, nigga, what? No, for real, though. Like, niggas just really, they say anything and they just expect for us to be like, okay, yes, whatever you say, babe. Or like, what is it? I don't know what gas like. If it's gaslighting, if like you don't, if you say no, and they try to like change your way of thinking, or like, is that gaslighting? That would be coercion. That too, nigga. Coercion. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, gaslighting is like you coming to a nigga and being like, "I'm really sad today," and he's like, "Damn, you always sad. What's uh, wrong with you now?" It's like <laughs> I was just trying to tell you how I felt. <laughs> Well, that one too. <laughs> and you tried to make me feel like my feelings were invalid. And I don't like that. Well, that one too, then, too. At that. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, whatever. You That's know, a so big ass depression, toxic Sunday. Girl. <laughs> Add- <laughs> Add- yeah, I got depression. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Girl, facts. Like, it's just really crazy. And of course, you know, that little sweetie video, which I really didn't even see as a big deal. Um, that started a lot of talk online. And so there were some narratives that were being painted out there. And Sweetie did decide to go ahead and let us know that she is currently single. Mm -hmm. So Sweetie posted, I'm single. I've endured too much betrayal and Mm -hmm. hurt behind behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character. Mm -hmm. Presence don't band-aid scars. And the love isn't, this is when Sweetie hit a motherfucking Mm -hmm. word. Okay. Y'all listen to this. She <laughs> said, presence don't band-aid scars and love isn't real. Mm-hmm. Hold, on, hold on one more time. Love isn't real mm-hmm. when the intimacy is given to other women. Mm. Hmm. Just we're gonna we're gonna marinate on that one for a second. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. then Sweetie finally said, um, I emotionally checked out a long time ago and have walked away with a deep sense of peace and freedom. Excited for this new chapter of Elevation. Hmm. <laughs> well, that sounds very mature. Sounds like something an, an adult would say. Sounds like something that a person who stopped giving a fuck a while ago would say. I mean, but that's what they always say. Like, we stop caring a long time. We, we check out mentally a long time before we check out physically. Like, Yeah, because that makes it easier for you to really leave a nigga alone. Hell yeah. The longer you're like, all right, I've been, I've been off of your ass, so it's cool. Right, like I've been, I've been going to boot camp, ready for this, girl. Ready, ready for a hot girl summer, girl. Big facts. So whenever I read that, I immediately was like, "Damn!" Like, is that what the Bentley was? Is that what the the weekly Birkins was? Mm-hmm. Like, were those just apology gifts? Girl, niggas feel like gifts account for time and shit. Like, gifts should gifts equal Bitcoin or something. <laughs> Like, niggas be thinking like that, like, so, like, that hell is on top of value, and I don't understand, because, like, nigga, like, no, like, <sighs> while I like the gifts, you still did this shit, and it, and that ain't gonna fix it. Yeah, That's not okay. While I like the gifts, I would still like for you to stop cheating on me. I still want you to stop being a fuck boy. I still, I still would like you to stop hitting me, please. Yeah, girl, you, like. You can, you can give me a gift and not put your hands on me. Girl, like, it's just crazy. Or have me out here looking crazy. <sighs> I think that's the, we'll talk about it. Because I, I already know what's coming up next, so we'll talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, well, we said what she said. So what you, what was, and, and she said what she said. Girl did say what she said. So then Quavo decided to hop on Instagram, which I really, or Twitter, I really wish he hadn't even said shit. <sighs> and he said, I know you want to make this into a show, so I'll play my part just this one time. I don't normally put my business out there, especially my personal life. You do. I feel the need to address this so there are no false narratives. I had love for you and disappointed you did all that. You are not the woman. He actually really said women. You are not the woman I thought you were. I wish you nothing but the best. Prayer hand emojis. So. So you cheated. you, You didn't. But you see, not still. Didn't deny. I never cheated on you. I never well, I took advantage of your trust. Yeah. yeah. Not no, one. I'm sorry. It's like, you're not the woman I thought you were. So, yeah, I cheated. 
Damn, you I'm, I'm it. mad you telling you telling everybody I, I did what I did. How dare, <laughs> how dare you tell the truth? Girl, that's a nigga for you, fam. How, how dare you tell everyone what I really who I really am? How dare you tell everybody that I ain't shit and I ain't gonna never be shit? And it don't matter how much fucking money I got. Bitch, when a real nigga hold you down, you're supposed to drown. <laughs> and you weren't drowning enough. <laughs> you didn't drown quick enough. Drown, bitch, drown. Yeah. <laughs> and he might as well have said that hell. <sighs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just like. And nigga, do you think we give a fuck about the type of woman that you thought Sweetie was? Nigga, she clearly you thought enough of her to be parading her all over goddamn Instagram, having her on boats and shit, being in her videos and everything else. Talking about she changed you on a on a GQ and making cute ass videos and shit. And hello, like clearly you thought enough of her to be doing all that, and now you want to try to now nah, you're a different woman. First of all, nigga, majority of us are. I mean, yeah, once once we done, yeah. Big facts. Like, once cheating and shit is involved, like, how, how do you expect for to betray me and for me to not change? And me, yeah, how you expect me to act? And I just, <sighs> niggas need to really, one thing, be thankful for growth. Girl. Because I uh, always oh, would have set this whole bitch, would have aired this whole bitch out. And, yeah. you know, I've, I've changed and I've, I've calmed down, but like, you st- you can't play. You gotta stop playing with people, girl. You I'm telling you, you can't you can't play with everybody. You can't replace. You cannot replace everybody. No, everybody Everyone is not is replaceable. Not replaceable. Everybody is not. And it, it it should only take losing that one to like figure it out. But niggas are just a hard headed. They hard headed. That's why they need their ass whooped because they hard headed like a toddler. They need. Let me stop. Cause I sound I sound like a threatening <laughs> violence. I, I might be shit. So let me stop. wake up and choose violence. <laughs> okay, fight. Like, no, for real. It's just like, and of course, Saweetie decided. You know, she responded to Quavo's tweet with one of my favorite phrases that I love saying to niggas. And if y'all go back many, many episodes ago, I told y'all that I love telling a nigga to take care. Mm-hmm. Show that's me. just that's just a very nice way of saying. <laughs> Nigga, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> alone. And leave me alone. It says so much. It's very powerful. Words mean lots of things with that. Girl, and it's so crazy how so little words can just say so fucking much. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. much. Yep. So, you know, honestly, and I also don't know if maybe Quavo had posted that. So Saweetie fans could be like, oh, she's not the person he said she is. I'm not going to support her no more. Girl, he wrote that for them niggas. Them niggas. He know who he wrote that for. Girl, fast. Yeah, hell yeah. She she ain't sh- she ain't shit, bro. Do a whole lot of things, bro. Girl, because as soon as I, I, wrote, I'm I'm single. Them niggas was that was a back that was a back call to that damn DM. Boy, look, and and some of your homies really ain't your homies. You're gonna find out soon enough. Girl, hello. I guess. I'm just saying. I hope y'all niggas. So so. Quavo, you didn't learn anything from Offset? This nigga had to go on tour, damn near on his hands and knees, mm-hmm. to get Cardi back. Girl. <laughs> like, yeah. and, and Offset and don't, and don't wanna let go. Girl, don't want to let go, but the tea that I heard... You said what? The tea that I heard is the reason what little incident that Saweetie is referring to. Mm-hmm. Apparently in Houston... There was some big party that was going on. A bunch of rich niggas were there. Mm-hmm. And apparently there's some group. Do you remember Taz's Angels? Mm-hmm. Long story short, Taz's Angels was a pimp and a, pros- and a, a group of prostitutes. Oh. But they, they got in trouble. They no longer exist. So apparently there's this new group. I forgot the name of it. But it's basically the same thing. Uh, they set up you know, these rich niggas with escorts mm-hmm. and said apparently Quavo left the party that they were at with one of the escorts and ended up having sex with her. And mm-hmm. Saweetie ended up finding out. How'd she find it out? But that's crazy. That's, that's what I heard y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my thing is offset. If you're guilty, I mean, Quavo, if you're guilty, you're guilty. Yeah. If you, if you did some, you did some. You, if you did some, you did something. And so and you can be mad if someone don't want, don't want to stand beside your bullshit. You can't you can't be mad if someone chooses not to 
stand beside and let you just betray them and, and hurt them. Like you can't be mad at that. So nah, you can't be mad at that. And people yeah. have their limits and some people's limits are a little further than others. Or but you have no you. right. Okay. So like you don't have to, you don't have the right to tell somebody what their limits should be. Thanks. You don't. Thanks. So um, on that note, let's go ahead and go on over to the last bullshit of the week. Mm-mm-mm-mm. We're going to do 100 rounds. All right. Derek Jackson. Fuck boy. <laughs> uh, car. Seen it coming. Um, disappointing. All right. So yeah. this week, this week it did get revealed to us, courtesy of Unwind with Tasha K. Uh-huh. That the um, the Instagram guru, relationship guru, the Instagram motivational speaker, Derek Jackson himself, mm-hmm. um, he has actually been cheating on his wife of the last 14 years, 12 or 14 years, I think I read. And that's how long they've been together? <clears throat> yeah, that's how long they've been together. Hmm. So some of y'all may know Derek Jackson, some of y'all don't. Um, long story short, Derek Jackson is this nigga who basically... <laughs> does these videos in his car where he talks about married men shouldn't be cheating. Um, if you cheat on a woman, you should really let her go. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a bunch of shit that he himself is not going to follow. So girl ain't shit at all. Um, so Tasha K last week, um, said that she had actually been in touch with a woman who, um, was a mistress of his. Mm -hmm. And, I listened to the YouTube, long story short on the YouTube, the woman was saying that um, he told her that him and his wife are separated. Um, He flew her to Atlanta for his birthday weekend, which so happens to also be like July 4th, Mm -hmm. and said he had her in the bed that him and his wife are in. They were having sex multiple times a day. She also claims that he is a, a sex addict. Um, claims that he is aggressive. Mm. Um, she also claims that shortly after she had had sex with him, mm-hmm. that um, apparently his wife had found out something, and mm. um, <clears throat> and that is whenever Derek Jackson decided to go ahead and post his wife on Instagram for us. So right after his birthday, according to his Instagram timeline, mm-hmm. he actually posted his wife like three weeks later. That was the first time. It was like a little uh, a tribute uh, picture from their wedding or whatever. Mm-hmm. Thank you, baby, for being by my side. Girl, you, you know, just some dumb shit. So the girl did post the pictures of her in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, and she claims that uh, Derek had told her that the wife had left. They were separated. She was living with some family, I think, in like Florida. And she had mm-hmm. took the kids with her. Mm-hmm. So, of course, everybody's like, oh, my gosh, this is the nigga who gets on the Internet and tells all of us women not mm-hmm. to put up with cheating. Mm-hmm. And you're a cheater. How that mm-hmm. work? So you're a cheater pumpkin eater. Girl, like, how the fuck does that work? Um, so initially, Derek got on the Internet from his car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. And, of course. <laughs> and was basically saying that um, everything was a lie. Um, Tasha K is mad at him because he uh, he refused to do an interview with her. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's it's all blasphemy. Blah 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 blah. And Tasha K was like, "Nigga, first of all, you're the blasphemy. Mm-hmm. Second of all, you definitely sent me a cease and desist. But nigga, I had already gotten this information before you sent the letter over, so I can say whatever I want to say." Ooh. And then shortly after that, Derek decided to hop on Instagram again, this time with his wife. Mm-hmm. Um, so this video low-key bothered me. Mm-hmm. So he gets on the internet with his wife. Um, Derek is looking polished. The wife is looking not as polished. Mm-hmm. And he basically <laughs> admits that he has done inappropriate things during his marriage. Um, some way, somehow, he tries to blame God for it. Well, he tried to blame Jesus. Mm-hmm. He ad- he admits to cheating on his wife. Um, he admits to cheating on her physically, cheating on her emotionally, 
says that he was having conversations with women that he knew he shouldn't have been having. Um, you know, he kind of tried to like downplay it and just mm -hmm. like throw the yeah, I had sex with him in the middle and hope you just won't catch it. Yeah. Sneak it in there. Girl. But did you see the video of him and his wife? Mm-hmm. So what were your thoughts? That poor woman. <laughs> Girl. She looks like she is done. And I and I hate people were talking about like how she look and stuff. I'm like, this, this ain't even about her. Girl. This ain't even about her. This is about her nigga and he can't control himself. And for you want me to sit in a video and talk about how you hurt me to everybody? And hold your motherfucking hand? Nigga, are you crazy? When I tell you that nigga could have bribed me in the most glamorous ways possible. And I would have never sat down next to him. No, nigga, you made a video denying the shit by yourself. So now go make a video admitting the shit by yourself. And I would never you did none of the shit neither. Hmm. So you could do that by yourself as well. Because I, I wasn't involved in that decision. I just be thinking, that is so embarrassing. Girl, super that is so embarrassing. completely embarrassing. And then for the nigga to make a reaction video to that video... Girl, that's why I said, oh, whenever I saw that, I was like, oh, this nigga is like, something's really wrong with him. Like, how much more of a narcissist can you be? And talk about the, what, the bonnet of salvation and the... Girl. And then refer to himself in third person. I'm like, oh, this nigga is something's wrong. Like, this. now you're picking at your wife? Girl. And then the same day that he posted the video... Somebody had commented and was like, um, that's why she got a bonnet on her head. This nigga responded and was like, LOL, that's not a bonnet. It's a cap. And then posted a cap emoji with laughing emojis. Like, do y'all do niggas know anything about what's appropriate? Protect black women begins at home. Girl. 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 Hi, Tintin. Girl. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> hi Gucci like, that's why I'm just like you know what you niggas are not okay uh -uh. you niggas are not okay and y'all y'all literally commit emotional sins against women mm -hmm. and just expect for us to be like All it's right. fine Give me more. Give me more. La more lashings, please. More, master. <laughs> more, please. Give me more, please, sir. Girl. More and then get mad whenever a woman is like, I'm not dealing with that. I'm done, Demontre. <laughs> this is the 11th time you cheated on me. I'm done this time for real. Like, it's okay for her to like really be done, but I guess. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bruh. I'm just Girl, I felt so bad for his wife. And like you said, like people were really going in on the mm -hmm. wife. And like, don't get me wrong, I do think that her appearance, it could have been better. But I wouldn't be surprised if her appearance was Derek's decision. I just I just want people to realize she's at home. Um it seemed like in the middle of the day. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean Lord knows we ain't gonna see, show our video how we look right now. Girl, facts that part. I mean, but I'm just like, she's at home. That's number one. And I'm just like, <sighs> I just be feeling bad. I be feeling really bad for these women who feel like because they did everything the right way that they're immune from bullshit. Girl, like that don't saying. have sex before marriage. That like, you know, what I'm saying like, and and not even just that, but just like feel like they did everything by the book, and then the nigga like does something and just like crushes a whole world because like you can be perfect, damn near perfect. You can be as perfect as possible, and the nigga will still cheat on you or disrespect you or still like it will still mm -hmm. be something wrong. It, and then. And I just be like, that, that really does something to somebody's confidence when you do something like that. Girl, no, literally. And like the crazy thing is, is that like you said, like you can be perfect and all this. 
at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with us. Mm-hmm. It is about the type of man that you have. And like mm-hmm. either that he he either loves and appreciates and respects what he has mm-hmm. or he doesn't. Like niggas have literally started war in behind pussy. Mm-hmm. Like niggas have literally, like I told y'all, T.I. was ready to go and fight Floyd Mayweather over Tiny. Mm-hmm. Sure was. We, as women, we need to realize how much power we have. Mm-hmm. And let these niggas know, like, no, you cannot do me like that. No, but you cannot the, mistreat me. That's the problem, though. Like, women are realizing it, and men don't like that. Exactly. And men love to humble women. Well, men love to make women feel like shit. And that's why I said the way that she looked in that damn video, I would not be, be surprised if Derek had something to do with it. I low-key think Derek did that. So mm-hmm. we would feel sorry for her mm-hmm. and feel sorry for him. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he's still there, I wouldn't be surprised if that nigga didn't want us to see what she looks like whenever she's glammed up. Because low-key, sis really, in the grand scheme of things, didn't look that bad. Mm-hmm. She just didn't look as good as he did in the video. She, I mean, she looked just real regular. And she just looked regular. I don't think that nigga wants us to see her, us to see her with a full face of glam. I don't think that nigga wants us to see her with her hair down or a wig on. I don't, I don't think he wants us to see her with her titties out. Yeah, hell no. But that nigga made sure that he looked all polished and ready to go for the camera. I low key think she in a cult. Huh? I think she's stuck. I don't think she's stuck. I just think she sanctified. I don't. <laughs> I think she might be stuck. Cause did you see the second video she posted? Girl, I'm not watching none of that shit. I ain't watched. I didn't watch. No, I didn't watch the first video. I glanced at clips. I didn't watch I, the whole thing either. I, saw I didn't enough. watch nothing. I, and I saw her, and I'm not watching nothing. I, Girl. I'm good. Garrett Jackson is wrong on so many levels, like so many fucking levels. And then the new mistress and all the other shit that came out, I'm like, yeah. girl. And the new mistress says she had sex with him on March 18th. That was just. And said episode. Derek, thank you. Said Derek has been threatening her. What? Yes, and she also said that Derek is abusive. He's abusive physically. He's abusive emotionally, and he's abusive verbally. I can see it. I can, I can absolutely see it. I can it. see it. I can see it all. Any nigga that is crazy enough to get on a damn video and do a reaction video to himself and refer to himself in third person, they oh, nigga, you 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 don't have no limits. Run. <laughs> you you're, there's no limits to your crazy. You'll literally do anything. Facts. We'll do anything. I'm just like, and I see people be like, oh, that's for cloud. I'm like, nah, that lady really looks stunned. Like, I, I think she looks tired. Low key, I have been that lady. Why am I lying? I done been in a relationship with a nigga where a nigga made me feel so bad. I told y'all, where all I was wearing was fucking sweatpants. <laughs> like, nigga had me so fucking stressed out that I was just like, I'm completely let yourself go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, mm-hmm. sometimes you just have to remind yourself of the bad bitch that you are. <laughs> you know, like, you, sometimes you gotta remind yourself that you're some pressure. That should, that should t- like it, it's hard to come out of that though. It is. It's very like, hard. Well, you get to a point where you start you isolate. Like when you're dealing with that, you isolate yourself from you know people that you know love you and stuff, and like who who really care about you. You isolate yourself from them, and and then a nigga, bro, a nigga just making you feel like you ain't nothing to nobody without him. Girl, I'm telling you. And, and sometimes he'll t- talk so much and say so much. Just sometimes you might even believe the shit. Girl, it'll start making fucking sense. I just... (sighs) I feel so bad for his wife. It's Because I used to follow Derek Jackson. I immediately unfollowed him. I was just like, oh, hell no. Like, I never trust that nigga, fam. I never trust... I just... I can't... Like... I ain't gonna say man that's super cape, but like... You too perfect. You got the perfect answer for everything, nigga. Like, every, like no, like, nah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. about something about that nigga seemed like very untrustworthy. I don't know. And then I found a nigga was five six. I was like, oh, that. 
<laughs> the there it nerve. Is. There it is. The nerve. And then on top of that, nigga, you're literally only giving advice to us women. And your advice is based on you. Yeah, your your advice comes first hand. Yeah, your advice comes based on you. And you're telling us things that you wouldn't even tell your wife. You telling us not to stay with a man that cheats on us, but then you, I beg for my wife's forgiveness. So nigga, what you begging for? Based on your, based on what you've told us, you should have told your wife, you don't deserve me. Mm -hmm. You don't deserve me. I'm going to go ahead and file for divorce and I'm going to go help you find a new man. <laughs> That's what that nigga should have said. Girl. But no, that would be too much like, right. Oh, oh, and then the mistress said she. The new mistress said the most recent one that she was pregnant. And what happened? I can't remember. If she said she had an abortion or not. I think it was good for her. Um, Facts. I just. Oh, and then I saw something that, that really just be pissed me off. Like he was like, "Oh my, she, my wife isn't good at sex, or whatever." Why the fuck is you telling this bitch like? If you're going to cheat, keep me out of it, first of all. Just, just yeah. if you're going to do that, just keep me. She don't do this. She always arguing. She don't. Just leave me out the shit. Because that be making bitches feel real important. Like they got a one up on you. Yeah. Because he, cause you can't fuck good. And yeah. I'm like. And that's just, that's the problem. Just marry These hoes. Girl, just, that's, just what, marry that's what I'm hoes. saying. Just that's marry what, the hoe. Nigga, niggas want for you to be experienced. But have a low body count. Fuck what your homeboy think. Fuck what your mama got to say. I mean, she going to say something anyway. Just marry the hoe. That's who you really want to The hoes are fun. Just yeah. marry the hoe, fam. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Just, just, just do that. Just just marry a hoe. Or, or just, like, it, it just don't make sense. Like, how do you want for me to be this freaky ass woman in the bedroom with you? Nigga wants you to do fucking cartwheels and shit and jump off the ceiling and fall on the dick. But then you want me to not have done that with nobody else. How'd that work? You should be happy I'm in here doing it with you. That part. And I'm just like, you should you should really just thank some niggas. Hello? Just thank some niggas. You're you're benefiting, my nigga. You you literally didn't have you're benefiting from something that you had nothing to do with. Just, just Hello? Like <laughs> shit, if you want me to be on my page, you should just thank them. Mm-hmm. But I just facts. I've been telling y'all, the nigga I lost my virginity to, that nigga put me on game. <laughs> that nigga introduced me to a whole new world. Girl, well, look, it took me some time, but now that I'm here, damn I'm it, here. we ain't going back. Hello? Like, that's what I'm saying. Niggas want to use our bodies just for their pleasure. And I just be, that. Get a sex doll or get a pocket oh, pussy. They're so selfish, fam. Mm hmm. Like I'm a whole person too, fam. Like, do you like do you care about if you care about my pleasure as much as yours, you'd ask me what I like. Ask me what I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like but, uh, Or we could explore, you know, freaky things together. And see, I be feeling like a lot of bitches with the shit too. In what way? I just feel like uh, I feel like men can get away with a lot of stuff if you were open and communicated. Not like maybe not cheating, but like Hello. If you felt some type of way or you need to, I feel like there are bitches who, who down with that. I'm telling you, I if say you the feel, same shit. If you feel like you can't be with just one woman, there are women who who are okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Like there are women that are okay with that. There are women that are okay with sleeping with married men. Mm -hmm. There are wives that are okay with their husbands doing whatever he does as long as he fucking comes home and pays the bills on time. Mm -hmm. Like those kind of situations, like if you niggas really truly want that situation deep down in your heart, mm -hmm. you can probably have it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's obtainable. It's definitely attainable. But instead, y'all want to go and get into situations. You want to try to turn women into women that they aren't. Mm -hmm. Make women be okay with things that they're not. Mm -hmm. Except expect for women to to accept things that they're not okay with, it's and it's just like all this energy that you're putting into trying to get me to do whatever. 
Mm-hmm. You could already, if you want me to, if you're trying to convince me to do a backflip and I tell you, nigga, I don't know how to do a fucking backflip. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in doing no backflip. You could have used all that backflip. energy. Thank you. You could have used all that energy to find a girl that loves doing backflips. That part. That part. That don't make no fucking sense. That part. Girl, it's, the, it's the convincing you to do something that you don't want to do. Girl, they good for it. Girl, like you, you are, I, I already said I didn't like fish. Nigga, I'm allergic mm-hmm. to fish. Hmm. Ain't have fish. I don't want fish. Girl. Just, just try a little bit. Nick, I said no. <laughs> Girl, then he gonna try to go get a different fish. Well, try this. Try salmon instead of tilapia. <sighs> Girl, you trying to kill me? <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Is there, is there, it, are y'all working with the fans? Are y'all trying to kill, like, y'all trying to kill us? Like, Girl. I guess. Whatever. It's it's so crazy. And I know Tasha K had also said that um apparently Derek has a book deal with TD Jakes. And that's got snatched from up underneath him. So don't expect no book from that nigga. I look I think the nigga's done. He paid on something because I'm talking about heel. Hmm. Hmm. How we how we healed or some shit. Whatever. Girl, niggas be having all the fucking nerve. I just cannot believe. That this nigga felt the need to go online and admit to cheating. And then you tried to make it, you tried to downplay your cheating while you're holding your wife's hand. Nigga, you weren't holding her hand while you were fucking homegirl in the bed. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. If, I don't know. The wife is just a better woman than me because there's absolutely no way. I don't give a fuck what that nigga offered me. He could have offered me a brand new house. Okay. There's absolutely no way I'm getting in a video with you while you tell everybody that you fucking cheated on me. There's just no way. I'm not doing it. And I just be thinking like, you know, the be- the best thing would have been them because I stayed is just to just shut the fuck up. Girl. Since I'm still here and I ain't gone nowhere and, I'm, and I ain't left and we working through this or we trying to figure it out, the best thing you can do is just shut the fuck up and not say nothing. Don't say, just, don't, don't say nothing at all. Don't say nothing. Niggas are so embarrassing, fam. Like that is so mm-hmm. embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. That's gonna forever be her legacy, part of her legacy. Yeah, <laughs> and she feels the need to continue to get online and try to explain herself. And it's like for one girl, people are just joking on you now at this point. Now and then for two, a lot of the people in the comments have stayed for less. You're mean. Yeah. Facts. Like you're. And you're that's mom- so sad. Yeah, very much so. And I just that's just salt what? on an open wound. And for what? And this is and you got people in your business who don't even know you trying to give you advice and tell you shit. And they don't know. Girl, oh I just want to see a woman cheat and a man stay. That's I want to see that. Bring me that story. Bring me that. Because everything's based on us healing after being, you know, our, our trust yeah, yeah, being taken advantage of. Yeah, like. I want to see the, I want to see how you niggas heal after being cheated on. Niggas be cha cha slide on your on your whole feelings, fam. Girl, they will cha cha slide. They Lisa, will do stop all on your feelings on your heart. Girl, they will do everything except for what they are supposed to be doing, and that is just so sad. Very much so. And they expect for you to still be like to have been drugged through the damn mud, and to still be like, okay, honey, what's for dinner? I'm about to make it. What do you want to eat? I'll make your favorite. And not want to feel like poisoning him. Like, are you niggas okay? <laughs> you know you're going to ride or die. <laughs> it don't matter if you're up there, up there doing five or ten. Girl. Like, she find, crazy for you. I guess. I guess. I, I guess. I've been sis too, but god damn, just oh girl, I definitely have. That's a for fucking fact. I just want niggas to just stop being just just, just stop and embar- bet. If you just stop embarrassing us, that'd be that'd be half of it. Girl, that part. If you, if you just did things like what, what, what if this came out with she be embarrassed, you just thought like that, that mm-hmm. would like stop half the shit you did. If not if not all of it. I guess. It sure would. It sure would. So we, we, yeah, we we gonna we gonna lift sis up in prayer because I really feel like she needs it. I feel like she's really going through it in that house. And um, Derek looks like the type 
that is going to dip off on you and leave you with them kids and leave you with uh, all kind of fucked up emotions to try to sort through. First of all, by yourself. Fuck, fuck these kids, they going with you. Girl. You and the stepmama, they going with y'all. Okay. And I'm finna go and get a, I'm finna go get spousal support. I'm finna go get my body done. Hello? Girl. Uh, Hello? By the time that nigga was done with me, Mike and Sheila. Mike and Sheila. <laughs> Oh, girl, what? I remember telling the nigga a long time ago when he did some dumb shit. I'm like, you don't even realize the type of bitch that you fucking with. Do you not know that I will massacre every single feeling that you have? Girl. I had to tell a nigga, but I had to like, I was like, you, you, know, I, you know, I didn't do like I did the mother niggas right. Like, I just want you to know. I didn't treat you like I, I treated the mother niggas. I treated you different. Understand it. Okay. No you're in, you're in a very blessed position, cause nigga, I didn't doc. Oh, I just need, oh, I just oh, I should have dogged them niggas out. Girl, girl, I'm telling I you, I should have played them niggas. Oh, Jesus, girl, you feel like I should I should have just dogged you. I should have just why you're you're absolute waste and rubbish. You're worthless. I guess, girl, but. Definitely prayers for everybody and their feelings. And that is all I have in this week going to shits. All right, fresh, let's argue. I don't even know, like, my shit kind of relevant, but uh, Joe Button podcast on, on the. Oh! I know it's your podcast. Oh, nigga, I'm fucking hurt. I'm fucking hurt. So they have oh. put together some context of what may have happened. And there's like a Reddit thing that's going crazy right now. I was blowing the fuck up, actually, of what may have happened. Girl. Basically, Rory and Mal are on strike. Mom. My, Sorry, my, that's my boo. You gotta say his name right. Sorry, I just yeah, I'm very uh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he plays on strike. Um, according to Joe's miscommunication, they're saying it's both personal and business. Girls, I'll let you finish, and I'm gonna tell you what what happened on the episodes. Okay, so. Joe said, I'll eliminate some of the suspense. Rory and Mal aren't here, but this is Rory's seat. This is this is not Ice's seat. This is Mal's seat. Whenever they feel like returning to their seats, they can return to their seats so I can go back to work. And that will happen. And then, hold on, shit, I can't read. And then what will happen is the same thing when your star player comes back to the team. He continues, sometimes in friendships and business, and everyone needs to take a step back and go to their respective corners. Sometimes everyone's perspective and perception on how to go about that and how it should be executed is different. And then he said, I'm not hiding any one's podcast masters. <laughs> <laughs> but said it's not a beef. No one has communicated a beef. With that, he communicated to me if something is wrong, whether that be our friendship, how we're speaking to each other, the respect level. So I guess according to people who listen, I'm not a listener, but there have been some like tension in the past few weeks. Oh, and yeah. Tension is a nice way to put it. Really? Yes. So over the last few weeks, well, really, it's really been, it really hit ahead over the last few weeks, but over the last few months. So mm -hmm. Rory, everybody noticed that Rory was being real aggressive on the episodes, like, and he's been being aggressive. And they had kind of mentioned it on one episode and Rory was like, y'all, I'm depressed. Like I'm going through it in life and y'all just want to make a joke of it. So Joe kept saying like, oh, we love like this depressed version of Rory because he'll like say anything. Mm -hmm. And apparently the reason behind that was because Rory, Rory was engaged. Rory got engaged at um, Jay-Z's uh, Rock Nation brunch mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Acad DJ Academics got online and said that Rory had been cheating on his fiance for a while. And apparently the woman he was cheating on her with, he had bought her a Birkin. Mm -hmm. So, and I remember thinking to myself when I was listening to episodes, I was like, Rory doesn't sound like he's still in a relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. So Rory never confirmed whether or not him and his fiance broke up, but mm -hmm. he hasn't said nothing about planning no wedding. Mm -hmm. And there's another guy on there named Parks. Parks is engaged and Parks got engaged actually after Rory. Mm -hmm. And Parks already has a day for his wedding. They mm -hmm. kind of talked about it in the episodes. Mm -hmm. So a few weeks ago, they were um, recording and Rory had said something, Joe had said something to Rory and Rory was like, you want to fight? Like they've been kind of hinting at them fighting. Mm -hmm. And Joe was like, I'll beat the shit out of you. And Rory was like, Ooh. I'm in shape. Like you're not going to fuck with me, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And um, 
so then Joe had said something like after like the sixth time of Rory mentioned and fighting him, he was like, you know, I don't fight my friends. And Rory was like, Are, who said we were friends? Oh, damn. Yes. So that was the last episode that we heard Rory on. Mm-hmm. So apparently some shit went down behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Joe told Rory that he needs to take some episodes off to go kind of get himself together. Mm-hmm. Maul felt like Joe wasn't in a place to tell Rory to take time off. Mm-hmm. Apparently that turned into some argument between Joe and Maul. And Joe and Maul have been friends for the longest. They've been friends for like over like 10, 15 years or something crazy. Mm -hmm. They used to live together, everything. Mm -hmm. Park said that he was there whenever this interaction happened between Joe and Maul. And Joe said some things to Maul that were basically unforgivable. Mm -hmm. So now Maul has decided to take time off from the show as well. Mm. So Rory and Maul were Joe's, I mean, Parks is still like a really big part of the podcast, but Rory and Maul were like, they're the ones that were in all the YouTube videos, everything. Mm -hmm. So it caused some commotion because whenever I listened to the episode, I was like, it's just not the same. What are these niggas? Like, I I know Ice and Savon because they've been on there before. Mm -hmm. Savon is really Joe's basically errand boy. Mm. <laughs> this is that air boy. And Joe treats Savon like shit. Mm. I like shit. Girl, he treats Savon bad. He be talking crazy as hell. And I think Joe is one of those people that he disguises talking crazy as hell to people as like, that's just me. Uh huh. Like, that's just how I am. Mm-hmm. And people don't realize that that's not a good enough excuse for you to Talk say crazy. the things. Yeah, to say the things you say to people. Mm hmm. Because, I mean, what do you think? Do you think the show, like, do you think they're going to come back? I mean. I feel like Rory's going to come back. I feel like Maul isn't. For mm-hmm. real? Because Maul been posting on Instagram, like, it's death before disloyalty. I mean, death before disrespect and shit like that. And I'm like, he must have said something really bad to Maul, low-key. And, you know, they always took little jabs at each other on the episodes. But I guess mm-hmm. I never thought that it was going to turn serious. Yeah, it's, it's, it's certain stuff you don't say. Yeah, it's just certain things you don't say. Real friend, you know what not to say and, and what you know what's off limits. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's really sad because that's low key, not even low key, high key. One of my favorite podcasts. Oh, I've literally okay. been listening to it for six years. That's another show, show. Girl, that's my shit. I listen to I have listened to every single episode of the Joe Budden podcast, and I haven't even listened to yesterday. By now, I would have finished it. I haven't even listened to Wednesday's episode yet. You don't plan to listen to it. I don't, it's just like, it's just not the same. I love me some mom. Girl, you already know, whenever I saw mom, I was just like, I love that nigga. Mom looks cute and he smells really good. Girl, smells good. He's he not the tallest, but we can look past that. Mm-hmm. I mean, but he, he he got real BDE, so. Girl, definitely does. Even though he looked a little boring in bed, but he looked like it's big. That's, That's like the way mom carries himself. That's half of it. <laughs> Girl, facts. Okay, but a low um, income black uh, or a low income program in Oakland starting in May is going to give uh, families $500 in supplemental income each month. So the city announced it's launching a program that will provide income over the next year and a half. The mayor will be sending $500 payments to residents earning the low or lowest earning families of color. There's no condition attached to the money, the payments and families can send the money, spend the money however they see fit. Hmm. The poverty we face today is not a personal failure, it's a system failure. Guaranteed income is one of the most promising tools for system change and racial equity and uh, economic shit words. <laughs> economic mobility we see in that case. In order to qualify for the program, a family must be able to prove that at least it has one child under the age of 18 and that it can meet the city's income criteria, which is like 59000 which is a lot considering like out here. Yeah, but not for in California. That's not shit. Yeah, absolutely not. For a family of three, too. Girl, All the spots of the program will be reserved for families that earn about thirty thousand for a family of three, well below the federal poverty income line. So I'm like, dang, you know, five hundred dollars a month can really change somebody's life when you think about it. That really frees up somebody to do some things that they really need to do. Like mm-hmm. a lot of things can be fixed w- with money. 
Yeah, that could be somebody's gas for the month to be able to get to work. Daycare or, you know, people have exceptionally large electric bills right now. Mm -hmm. And that could pay for that or like just just so many different things that it opens up to like a new business, you know, supplies that you need, how how you can fund your new business if you don't have like, I just wish that that could be a model that we could like adapt furthermore. Mm-hmm. I mean, because of, of course you're gonna have people doing like, of course you're gonna have the people not doing what they're supposed to, right? But that's with anything. That's with anything, though. But for the most part, people really just want to do good out here and want to survive and want to, you know, take care of their kids and and yep. their neighborhood and environment and just raise their family. Like that's what people really just care about at the end of the day. Like I don't know. I just thought that was pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I, I hate that it took a pandemic for us to realize that people need help. Girl, I don't even think it took a pandemic because people still, I mean, shit, uh, uh, what, 30, was it 30,000? I don't know. A, a number of Americans still ain't got their stimulus yet. And a certain number won't get until they file their taxes and shit. Girl, I'm one of them. I have not, I have not gotten, I didn't get the $600. I didn't get the 14. Well, I, I got mine. Um, <laughs> I, I'm very grateful, very thankful. I got both of mine, but I mean, I mean, there's lots of people who hadn't gotten anything, and I'm just like, yeah, it's, like, not it's not I fair. I don't depend on it. Yeah, it's not fair. To, it's not fair to have to wait on your taxes to be able to to get what should have been like is. <sighs> I don't know what rule that was. I don't know why they put that in place. Like, damn, if y'all gonna give me the money, give it to me. Don't give me no stipulations on the shit. Okay, like, this is a pandemic. Like, this is mm-hmm. something no one can control. And you're mm-hmm. making things that access just very difficult for some people. And I just don't understand, like, how why is it so hard to take care of your people? Like, you want us to feel proud to be Americans and you don't take care of us? Like, why the fuck am I proud to be an American when I feel like y'all give me the shit end of the stick constantly? I can't mm-hmm. get the vaccine. I can't get my stimulus. I can't get unemployment. I can't get food. Like, it's all this shit. Power yeah. of shit. Girl, and even with them damn stimuluses, you see they keep lowering the bar for who's approved for it. Who can even get it? Who can get what? And how much, and I don't know, like, I don't know if people be realizing, like, the the income threshold be getting higher and higher. Mm-hmm. And people say, talking about people who work in the McDonald's make it want to make 15, like, that's a living wage. Mm-hmm. There is no reason why I should be working 40 hours at any job and not being able to at least afford my rent. If I can't do nothing else. Yep. If I can't do nothing else, there's no reason why I should work any job for 40 hours of my life and not be able to afford the bare necessities, my nigga. Girl, I'm telling you, and the pandemic only broadened the difference. That, that, it, the, the, that the line ain't chose, thin no more between the, the rich chose, and the poor. Yeah, the people chose making money over health because, like, regard, like yeah, there's a panorama outside, but, like, uh, my... my uh, my apartment manager already sent out notices saying that regardless of the pandemic, our our, our bills need to still be paid on time because we're responsible adults. And they ain't yep. got no money to pay their rent if we don't pay our rent. Like, this Girl. shit happened, fam. Girl, straight facts. Like, this shit really happened. Like, mm. we really had fast food workers as essential workers. Girl, I'm telling you. And that's what, that's what I was thinking. I was like... I don't know, because, you know, I really haven't done like a ton of research on the vaccine, but were the people at the grocery stores and the people who work in fast food, were they not at the top of the list to receive? What do you mean? Like to receive a vaccine. Those are the ones encountering people every day. I mean, you would think so. I know oh. it was open for healthcare workers and stuff like that. I don't I honestly, I honestly don't think so. And I'm like, I feel like that they up there with healthcare. I mean, yeah, because they've been open. They've been open yes. through pandemic and snowstorm. Like they've been open, my nigga. Yes, and it's like I don't know how many people they encounter on a daily basis, but I feel like it's enough. Enough to warrant like 
some extra protection at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, like they should have been at the top of the list to get a vaccine. Everybody who works at Walmart, everybody who works at Target, Winco, Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly, whatever it is that you, they should have been at the top of the list to receive a vaccine. Really low key, y'all should have came to their job and gave it to them. I mean, y'all. Y'all tried to describe disguise as a, a turkey leg cut as a, a vaccine clinic. Y'all could do anything y'all want to do. <laughs> y'all had Girl. to get in turkey leg cut line 24 hours. That was real? Yes, that was real. I don't know how long niggas was waiting, but they was waiting in line. They were out there for three days. Slinging turkey legs. Yes, that was very real. And, and it was thrown on the Potter's House campus. <laughs> Disguise. It was a some. It was they this. I mean, I get. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Go where the yeah. niggas gonna be. I get it. But something about that just a little fishy to me. Girl, you said it. But I guess. My dad, um, so there's this video floating around of this white mother with a biracial child in the bakery using the N word. Did you see this video? No. Then I can't even play it this week. But um. It's a white woman in New York on camera calling a black person a nigga, of course. Um, she, it's still people who who really upset about having to wear a mask. I, this, is, this is a year. I don't understand. It's a year. And you're still upset about wearing a mask. Okay. She was upset because they wouldn't serve her for wearing a mask. They called security or whatever. And she said, why? Because he's a bitch ass nigger. <laughs> she responded. <laughs> they told her to leave. Um, but her children are biracial and then she said that's what he is a bitch ass nigga i just said it. you heard you heard me um you're oh and then she defended herself defended her choice to use the word by saying you're a bitch ass nigga uh it's a term they use all my children have black but have a black father that's a term i've heard i'll use all my life and i blame you niggas y'all the ones that give these bitches a, a, to, enough uh, go to feel comfortable enough to use the the n word. You niggas are stupid. And this is why when people say I have biracial kids, I be like, I don't go. What what does that mean? There are people. There are racists with biracial kids. Plenty. There are people who like nigga who don't like niggas with biracial kids. Like, and Plenty. I don't understand how it happens. But but it happens. But niggas love them apparently. And it happens, and I, y'all, y'all don't think people really be out here using y'all for breeding for breeding stock? Hello. And out here, out here, want to birth athletes and no, and and trying to out here manufacture some shit. This should be real. This should Girl, be want, and it should be real. They want to birth kids who can sing, can dance, can yeah, throw they, a football. Uh, a a yards. Yeah, I'm telling they, you, they out here thinking they raising powder puff niggas. <laughs> <laughs> With my sugar and his spice, we're gonna have something real nice. <laughs> Girl, no, that that's a fucking fact. And like they be, and I'm just like, these poor kids have to sit there and listen to their mama go off like this and 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 think that shit's okay. Girl, fucking embarrassing, dog. Fucking embarrassing. Okay. All because of a mask. Bitch, if you don't put that shit on. With your goofy ass. Yes. Or your babies and get the fuck out. A mask is not that serious. Girl, and did you see the white woman? Um, it was in Texas. Both times, they arrested her as the first time for not wearing a mask. And she's talking about they're arresting the old white lady. And then a week later, they arrested her ass inside of a bank for doing the same shit. And Girl, like, if you don't take your maskless it? ass to jail, and like, weren't you causing that problem last week? <laughs> Girl, up in Galveston, I was like, God damn. Like, this is not new, fam. Put a fucking mask on if you can. Yes, just put a mask on. Like, is is, a ma is wearing a mask my favorite thing to do? Absolutely not. But if it's going to protect me, protect others around me, like... Why not? It's okay. And you know, most people really ain't ain't checking for masks like that. Like, okay, you really not. a lot of places now without a mask. But if someone just tell you to put on the mask, just stop put it on. Put it on the mask. Oh. Or don't go don't go into that establishment. Go into the establishments that have removed their mask or required uh, signs. Girl, and then of course we've had not one but two mass shootings since we've last recorded. And they refuse to call one a hate crime. Hmm. Talking about sex addiction. And the other 
I keep getting confused on who they said had a bad day. That's the first one. Who went in I thought I thought parlor. the first one was the one in the massage parlor. I thought that's the one they said has a sex addiction. Yeah. It's excuses. It's excuses and like for terrorism. For terrorism, she ain't getting no better. And and I'm at a I'm at a it seemed like now that now more vaccines, less quarantine, like that nigga was just cool when we was on quarantine. Girl, barely. I saw um a statistic that said there has been 83, what was it, 83 shootings in 2021, and there's only been like 180 something day, 100 and some days already. Girl, that's fucking insane. And it's so sad how desensitized we are to that stuff. It really is. It's like it's you can't even properly grieve over one without grieving over another. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or without hearing another and feeling like, well, damn, shit. Like, what do you say? And then a lot of um, anti-Asian hate, of course. A lot of that was fueled by Trump. And I see a lot of, I see a lot of black people having this like weird, weird conflict with like saying no to bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I saw a lot of um, "We're not everybody's savior" tech stuff, and I and I totally get that, and I, I get, get it as well, and I get where it's rooted from, and I get where it stemmed from. But really, this, this is uh, like let's just stick. This is rooted in white supremacy, mm-hmm. and, that, and it's really all it is. Like all of this is white supremacy. Us feeling like that, and and you know what I'm saying, feeling like we've been. This is rooted in white supremacy. Let's not lose focus on who the culprit or the bad guy is at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I think that's part of the plan is like to make people feel like I this mean, isn't I, a black thing; it's a white thing. Yeah, I, it's 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 a white supremacist thing. Like this is the the one equal we have that is the reason why we both in the position that we are in. Let's not lose focus of that. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with, you know, standing with somebody else or, or agreeing with saying some shit is bullshit and, you know, I stand with you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That, that doesn't make you anti anything to, to mm-hmm. say with someone I sympathize. It makes you a fucking human. People are so fucking weird, fam. Bruh, people are extremely weird. That don't make any sense. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it don't make no sense to me either. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then... um. The, one of the Latino survivors of the Atlanta shooting says he was detained for hours while his wife lay dead. Um, police knew his wife was killed during the uh, spa visit last Tuesday, but they held him up for handcuffs for hours without telling him. Um, and I'm just like, <laughs> did you already have a person like, locked up for this? Girl, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's so much going on. Like, I don't, I feel like it's part of the design because you know we have more. They're talking about you know with Biden saying he wasn't turning the kids away. We have more of the immigration, and they're saying like, oh, that's bringing more COVID and more crime, and like these are babies, and just like the plan is diversion and division. Hmm, that's the plan. Say that shit. Come on, that's the whole fucking plan. They trying to keep everybody apart. And that's the whole fucking plan. It's all of that, and it's working. If y'all don't. Calm the fuck down and chill out. She's rough out here. Um, I believe if you just stopped all these white people from having guns, that might solve a lot of the problems. I don't know, just just crazy notion. But I'm, I'm noticing something. I'm noticing a trend here. Okay, um, I'm telling you, these white people are fucking crazy. Should we need to? <laughs> never mind. Um. All right. So we do have a hear ye, hear ye. Let's get it. Um, my ex used to go through my phone when I would leave the room and it would piss me off. He never found anything because I was being faithful to him. I decided to put, I decided to put a lock on my phone because I felt disrespected. Now he's pissed. What do I do now? Keep your lock on your phone. Pretty much. Let that nigga be mad. Okay, I bet you don't go through his. You probably can't. You be having all sorts really of can't. complicated ass patterns for you to get in that shit. Hell yeah, he got a a, a drop of blood, uh, an alphanumeric symbolic password mm-hmm. that's sixteen characters. 
plus a, sl- a sliver of your liver to get in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Fort Knox. I just, yeah. I, I don't trust when people just be want to go through your shit. But you can't do the same? Not even that. Why? Yeah, I if agree. I, if I'm not doing anything and I we've never had an issue, why do you feel the need to go through my phone? Because he ain't doing right. Or because he didn't done, been done wrong, but neither one of those issues are my fault, fam. Yep, facts. Big facts. None of those reasons are my fault. Um, I don't really got time for an insecure man. No, and trying to question or explain, like, I don't explain yourself mm-hmm. or trying to write, re- rationalize a reason with niggas mm-hmm. behind like innocent shit. Like you, you know, it's real fucked up when you over here explaining platonic relationships and non-toxic situations to a nigga. When really you should be able to say, "This is my friend." Yep. But this nigga over here, like, well, why y'all talking about lunch, nigga? Because I said I was hungry. Yeah, and we go to lunch, girl. Niggas just be oof. niggas be thinking lunch is code for fucking, and fucking is 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 code for fucking, G- girl. Especially if it's on my phone. Oh, it's a lot of fucking going. Like I, I say, <laughs> fuck a lot. I have no problem saying I want to fuck. I want to suck. I want to do none of that shit. You gonna yeah. it, it ain't no deciphering at all. I may got some freaky shit. I don't want some vitamin, but you gonna see a lot of expletives to understand what's going on before, girl. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Feed me some vitamin D, daddy. Shit, what that sound like? I ain't talking to my daddy. <laughs> Straight up. I guess. I just, I just, I leave phones alone. Please. Leave phones alone. I mean, if the nigga, if you, if he lets you go through his phone, then I say find a second phone. <laughs> 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 it's, it's somewhere. Find a second. Girl, watch this crazy ass movie. Mm-hmm. That OJ got me watching. It was on Netflix. Uh, shit, somebody. Oh, it was about a, a a cheating ass husband. He had a double. No, hold on. Never mind. I'm confusing some shit. Never mind. I watched something else, and the nigga was like, he had a secret life, and he had some shit in his spare tire, like you know the uh, in the in the trunk of the car. Uh huh. Spare tires. He had shit in there. See what I'm saying? You got checking the glove compartment and shit. Oh, Dr. Foster, that's what it was. Dr. Foster. Like this nigga had a whole separate life, a whole other phone. Like her friends knew and were hiding the shit. I'm just like, you know what? See, everybody gotta die. No, mm-mm. you gotta check extra. Like you got you you think you do doing too much. Sometimes you gotta do more. <laughs> right. Girl, no, for real. Sometimes so, you, you gotta, you gotta think like a nigga. What what would a nigga do? Yeah, what would a nigga do? Oh, he'd keep the phone in the car. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's phone in the car. Uh, with no lock on it. <laughs> Girl, no, straight up. They got an Obama phone in the car. That's that's where all the tea is. Some dumb shit. Where was you at last yeah. night? Uh, uh, nigga, you you tagged where you was at. Right, facts, <laughs> facts. I guess I hope that helps. Tell the niggas stop going through your phone and leave your lock on there. And if you can't handle yeah. that, peace out. Fuck that nigga. Peace out. All right, uh, we ain't got nothing going. Well, I do. I have an event um, on my page. If you go look at the Cookie Bay page, that's it. Event Saturday for people who like to indulge in um, adult activities. Um, I think that's the main thing. We ain't got nothing else going on. Mm-mm. I'm chilling. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit us up at hearyoupodcast at gmail.com or visit our website at www.hearyoupodcast.com. Y'all can find me at huda underscore breezy. B R E E Z Y at IG uh, on IG, and where can they find you at? And you guys can find me on Instagram. That's where I live at <laughs> Tana Taught You. That's T A N N A H Taught You. All right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? You finally stopped staying on Twitter. The girl sure did. All right. <laughs> As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we will talk to you niggas next week. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.